This week we're in Brighton and Hove, which topped a poll as the world's most hipster city. And hoping her night will be bang on trend is third host of the week, retired advertising sales director Jill. I think I've got a really good chance of winning and I think it's going to be a great evening because my food is second to none. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Russell will no longer be taking part in the competition. Taking his place is social worker Ruth. People would describe me as quite gregarious and I'm always fun to be around. I've always got a smile on my face. Also, maybe a bit kooky. And when it comes to food, Ruth has a varied palate. I really like all sorts of food. There's very little food that I won't eat. Jill will be pleased. I have chosen a Middle Eastern menu because it covers all bases, whether you're a meat eater or a non-meat eater, and therefore it will blow everyone away. Now for the starter, manuri and char-grilled vegetable salad with flatbread. I hope there's no manure in the manuri salad. Oh, for heaven's sake. Manure is poo. Not you as well. So I don't hope there's too much of that in there. But... It, it might be a delicacy in some places that Jill might have visited. Surely not, Jill. It is a goat's cheese. It is a cross between feta and halloumi. Thank you. Having griddled the cheese, courgettes and asparagus, Jill sets them aside to be assembled later. Now for a little cool down. Love asparagus, love my courgettes, and who doesn't love a bit of bread? It doesn't look that complex, but I think if she makes her own flatbread, and she does that well, then that, that will be really impressive. My dress code tonight is a hat to match your personality because I feel that hats really say a million words about the person wearing it. Sounds captivating. I'm sorry. You best get ready. I will be wearing my hat that I wore to the Queen's Garden Party this year. Fancy, but does one have a matching fan? <laughs> First as his door and looking very chic, it's Joe. Hello! Hi. You look fantastic. Oh, I love your place. Oh, thank you so Gorgeous. much. Gorgeous. Next up, it's Adam. Couldn't decide on a favourite, eh? Tricky business. Hi, Adam, you're right. Hello. Looking great. Thank you. Loving the hat stack. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did Third you to mosey on in his will. Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, you look fantastic. Thank you so do you, Joe. Look and, at and the blending. You, oh, my brother is already here, as you've, you've probably already met. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I love a man that matches with my carpet. Oh, I love all of the hats. As always, Will just stills the show. God save the Queen! Last but not least, it's the new member of the group, Ruth. Your name is? I'm Ruth. Lovely to oh, meet you. Oh, nice in. to meet you, darling. I think we have a fascinator off. I mean, hers is good. Mine's better. Well, it's certainly bigger. Very nice cowboy. Thank you so nice. much. I am Adam. Adam! <coughs> what a smashing lot of hats you've got on there. <laughs> You're looking fabulous. Oh, so are you. Absolutely oh, fabulous. Ruth is here dressed to impress. And as a newcomer to the group, I think she's made an amazing impression. Hope it gets a bit kinder. So far, the week's been a bit ruthless. Ba boom! Ba boom! That's actually very good. <laughs> that was a very bad joke. <laughs> no, that was. <laughs> In the kitchen, Jill warms up her homemade flatbread before plating up the courgette, asparagus, and manori cheese on a bed of salad. And all we're going to do is layer this, 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 this on it. Done in five minutes. Very efficient. They will be impressed by it, whether they'll like it or not. Who knows? But they should, cos it's fabulous. How's that bread looking? We happy? No, it was lovely before, and I think it's been just a little bit too long in the oven. But never mind. Chin up, maybe they won't notice. Here it is, manori and chagra vegetable salad with some slightly overcooked flatbreads. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. I've got to ask Jill. Yeah. Because I was a little concerned when I saw there was going to be manure in this starter. <laughs> what is it? Can you clarify what it is for me? Yes, manuri cheese is a cross between feta and halloumi. That sounds right up my alley. Well, it's a step up from manure. You've introduced me to a cheese I A didn't know existed and B may have taken over as my favourite cheese. This is a win. You're my new best friend. I, I was relieved that it wasn't manure. That was the first emotion that I felt. Sorry, I've got an eyelash on my eyes. I know that's where they live. 
Jo. I think it's delicious. This is my kind of food. Makes you feel like you're on holiday. Lots of lovely flavours, very fresh. It's amazing. Really, oh. really, really a great start. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I'm delighted. I thought the vegetables in the starter were tasty. The flatbread was kind of so flat, it was like it was run over by a demolition truck. Even though it should be flat, it shouldn't be flat lining. Ouch! So what made you decide on the hat theme? For me, hats are really special. It makes you stand out as a person, I think. If you can wear them, they give you confidence. The reason I'm wearing this beautiful beret is because um, I lived in Paris for a year. C'est possible que tu es français, n'est-ce pas? Oui, bien sûr. Ça, c'est pourquoi tu portes cette, cette chapeau? Parce que j'habitais à Paris pour un an et j'étais jeune fille au père. I too enjoy Perfect. wearing trousers on a Thursday evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, try droll! I've got a lot of tricks up my sleeve all the time, and speaking French is just one of them. Well, Will doesn't surprise me. He's travelled all over the world. It really surprised me that uh, Joe could speak French, and really well. At one point, Joe and Will just launched into uh, French, because I thought it was a little bit showy-offy, to be honest. And I was sitting there completely none the wiser. It's a bit like sometimes when you go and get your nails done, you can tell they're talking about you, you know, because they keep gesturing over, but they're not speaking English. I thought this was a Frank Spencer appreciation of <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm going for Parisian chic, darling, not all oh, Betty. <laughs> Bloody Frank Spencer, what a cheek. I think Ruth's hat really sums up her personality. I think you're quite a flamboyant lady. And um, I think there's a touch of burlesque there. So maybe there's a little secret burlesque element of your character. I'm not sure about the burlesque thing. Perhaps in another life. I don't know whether she thought I'd be scantily clad going around a pole or something, but that is, like, so far away from what I do for a living. Ruth's a real pocket rocket. She's got that real look about her, the real sultry... I think Ruth, uh, uh, on very, very first impression, seems like quite a volcanic person. And her hat does resemble lava spouting out of a large, warm <laughs> rock. It's better to be a lava than a hater, eh? Oh. Oh. There's a lot of heat in her, there's a lot of fire within her, and there's, there's a lot of positives to being a volcano. That sounds like I've got, you know, I can't control my temper, or I am explosive. I mean, I might be a bit explosive later with all those vegetables. Yes, moving swiftly on. The starter was a roaring success. I would say, uh, winner, winner. <laughs>